In today's video, five shoulder exercises using only dumbbells. Let's go! What's good YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, Jacob Alava. Today, five shoulder exercises using only dumbbells. So back to the series, using only dumbbells. Now, shoulders naman ang target natin. So bago tayo pumunta sa shoulder training, I just want to talk about the shoulder. May three parts yan. The front part, the middle part, and the rear delt. Rear delt, anterior, and medial or lateral. So for the dumbbells, gagamitin natin flexi-click dumbbells from Bird's Gym Essentials. Kung gusto niyo order, link is in the description. And let's get to the first exercise. For our first shoulder exercise, we're going to be targeting our front delts, anterior delts. It's your most basic seated shoulder press or shoulder press. Ito yung main compound movement when it comes to your shoulders. Tsaka ito yung pinaka pwede yung i-load ng pinaka mabigat. So papakitaan ko kayo ng two ways to do it. One is seated and one is standing. May kanya-kanyang benefits sila. Pero let's start with the seated. When it comes to your overhead press or your shoulder press, a lot of people na kikita ko, masadong silang stiff na ganyan, may press. And pag tagal ng start ganon din ako, pero pag tagal medyo nagfeel ko na yung tightness niya and hindi na siya as comfortable sa akin. No? So what I do is, medyo pa 45 degree ng konte, and medyo na kaharap ng hold. Ganyan. Instead na masadong stiff na horizontal talaga, I find na mas okay siya sa shoulder ko. And mas less risk of injury para sa akin kaysa sa pag talagang strict siya na ganyan. Kasi masyado na nga siya sa tight. So with our dumbbells, nagay lang sa knees. Slow kick up. Kick balance. 45 degree. And ako personally, hindi ba naging kailangan sobrang naka-arch? Kasi baka bumigay rin yung likod mo dyan. Hindi rin siya ganun ka-safe. So steady lang. Stabilize your core. Tapos slow and controlled push up. Ako, I like putting my head out kasi when I put my head out, mas nakaka-relax yung traps ko and neck ko versus kung ganyan ako mag -lip. Mas masakit siya for me. So a few things na gusto kong tandaan nyo habang ginagawa niyo exercise is pagka-kick up nyo, core stable, i-recognize nyo yung weight, dapat tansya nyo yung bigat, tapos slow and controlled. Walang point kung kung ginagamitan nyo ng bounce, hindi rin safe yun, okay? Kasi marami akong nakikita, sobrang ginaganon lang nila. And that's not necessarily safe din for your shoulder. So slow and control, tapos yung breathing, keep core tight. Every time, sa top ka ng movement, doon ka mag exhale So for example, inhale, exhale, inhale, hold, exhale at the top. So, papakitaan ko kayo ng two variations. So, yung unang variation natin, yung seated dumbbell press. And yung advantage nun, pag seated, dun mo pwedeng bigatan. Dun mo talaga pwedeng overload. Versus kung nakatayo ka. Kasi pag nakatayo ka, mas engaged yung core mo. Tsaka the fact na si setup mo siya ng ganun, na kung mabigat, mahirap yun. So, mas madali mong maluload kung may bench ka. Now, again, ang advantage ni standing is more core stability. Pero, don't expect na mabubuhat mo yung same weight na nabubuhat mo dito sa seated. Hindi rin siya ganun kasi. So, get a lighter weight. Set up. Then, slow. Core, tight. Then, slow and control. Guys, habang nagpe-press kayo, hindi kailangan lang ganyan yung likod. Maganda kung stable lang siya. Sakto lang siya. Stabilize mo lang yung core mo. Straight back. Hindi yung kailangan sobrang naka-arch. Kahit may konting arch. Pero mas maganda kung talagang stable lang. Straight and secure yung core. So kung mahina pa yung core natin. And medyo challenging pa yung movement. Pwede ka mag-belt. Ako minsan gumagamit ako ng belt. Lalo na kung kailangan ng core support. Kaya nga tayo nag-belt. Para ma-support yung core. Lalo na kung nakatayo. Kailangan mo talaga all the support that you can get kung hindi ka pasanay. Okay, kung medyo mabigat yung weight. Kaya marami kayo nagkita, nag-overhead press yung barbell or OHP, naka-belt sila. 
Kasi, kailangan mo talaga i-tighten yung core mo. Tapos, you blow against the belt. For the next exercise, one of my favorite exercises, I'll show you two ways. One with a bench and one without a bench. Tawag dito, side raises. Hindi natin kaya ni overload yung weight. Such as yung mga, parang yung mga presses natin. Kasi this is a smaller muscle group. So, mga 15 reps, 12 to 15 reps of this. So, common na nakikita kong mali, ginagawa ng mga tao is siniswing nila, ginagamitan ng momentum. Diba? Ganyan sila mag side raise. What you want to do is to focus on the contraction and the mind-muscle connection tsaka yung eccentric or yung negative. So, when you do one rep, slow and controlled down. You have to feel the muscle working every time ginagawa mo yung rep. Instead na, pinabomba mo lang ng ganyan. Kasi, hindi na yung shoulders mo yung gumagawa ng work doon. Dinadaya mo na lang. So, slow and controlled. One, two, three. One, two, three. Maximize the contraction. One common mistake na nakikita ko is pag nagsa-side raise na yung mga tao, gumaganyan na. Okay, usually bumibigay na yung shoulders nun eh. So, dinadaan na sa forearm, sa arm, parang nagiging chicken na. No? So, what you want to do is control it. Kahit sabihin mong ganyan, up to there, gusto mo, yung delts mo lang talaga yung nag-work. Diba? Kasi, kung pinipilit mo na lang, ibig sabihin, hindi na talaga yung lateral delt mo yung gumagawa ng work. Diba? One thing, mental cue, pwede niyong aralin or i-practice, is let your elbows Ganyan lang guys. Medyo forward ng konti, pwede. Then let your elbows lead. Some people kasi, again, ito yung pinapalit nila. Forearms yung hands. So, magiging ganyan. No? Which we do not want. Gusto natin, yung delts talaga, yung gumagawa ng work. So, another variation na pwede nyong gawin with the side raises is to set up a bench. So, ako ginagawa ko, slight incline. So, yung second to the last na pinakamataas na position niya, Tapos I just balance myself. Kasi stabilize na kasi yung core ko. This prevents you from cheating pag nagsa-side raise ka. Kasi minsan, ginagamitan mo ng momentum pagpagod na. So dito, wala ka talagang cheat. Slow and controlled. Yung delts mo talaga will be doing all the work. So yun guys, try na yung may bench. Uh, I find na mas na control ko and mas hindi ko na cheat kung may bench ako kung ginagamit. Now, when you're gonna be doing side raises, since mas maliit yung lateral delt muscle, we're gonna do it around 12 to 15 reps. So, mas mataas yung rep range niya kesa sa mga heavier push exercises. For our next exercise, front delt na naman siya and it's called a dumbbell front raise. Kanina, side raise tayo. So, yung motion of side raise, aside. Diba? So, next time, this front raise, paharap naman siya. So, when you're gonna be doing the exercise, hindi Paganyan. Kasi pag paganyan, more make more chest involvement. Okay. So front lang talaga. And ako, personally, I prefer na may angle din yung paghawa. Hindi fully ganyan, hindi fully pronated, but medyo may angle. So I'll show you guys how it looks. So yeah, we've got the dumbbells. Guys, huwag nyo masyadong bigot na to. Parang side raises lang. Gaano nyo yung weight. Kasi it's not your compound movement like yung pressing mo na pwede mo talaga siyang bigot. So what I do, core stable, tapos, one, two, exhale, inhale, exhale, slow and controlled, feel mo talaga sa harap. Again guys, mas prefer ko na ganyan versus ganyan, kasi mas nafe-feel ko yung medial delt ko pag nakaganyan din ako. But up to you guys. Actually, hanapin nyo. Find the mind-muscle connection. Find what works for you. There will be some people na mas effective para sa kanila kung talagang pronated yung grip nila. Next exercise for our lateral delts. Again, to Yung leaning side raises or leaning lateral raises. So, kailangan mo lang ng papagkapitan. So, angle your body like this. Tapos sa side raise Okay. So, anong benefit nito? Ang benefit nito is, yung tension magsa-start from a lower point versus kung nagsa-side raise ka lang ng ganyan. Kasi kung nagsa-side raise ka ng ganyan, 
yung peak tension mo is around this point. Now, ang advantage nitong leaning away is pag nakalean ka, from your starting position, from here, may tension na siya eh. So, kung mapapansin mo, once you move mo pa lang from here, may activation na yung lateral delt. Okay? Again guys, use a um, medyo lighter weight, not as heavy as your pressing weight. Secure yourself, angle, slow and control. Ito guys, nafe-feel ko na kagad yung contraction. At this point pa lang, the fact na minove ko na siya na ganun, versus sa normal side race na dito ko pa lang talaga siya nafe-feel sa delt. So yung thing kagandaan ito. Usually ginagawa ko ito with cables. Pero since dumbbells lang talaga gamit natin, ito na yung closest na pwede mo siyang gawin. Pero ako oh, with cables, nilulusot ko usually through the leg. Tapos, sinasire this. So doing that alone, sobrang active na nung, nung lateral delt ko from the starting position pa lang. So from the activation, sobrang mas naging active pa siya pagtagal. So for our last exercise, para sa rear delts natin. Ito yung rear delts. Gagamitin na natin siya ng bench. So, baba natin ang konti yung bench to this angle. Kasi we'll be doing reverse flies on the bench. So, once your bench is set up, chest on the bench, when you get your dumbbell, yung motion mo, maganda kung stiff yung elbows mo. Straight yung arm. Kasi kung nagbabend yung elbows mo, mas roam, mas may back na yun. But kung wide, pwede pa. Ako, I personally use really lighter weight. Tapos, ganyan. Medyo pinky out. Para mag-focus sa rear delt. Doesn't have to go all the way out to here. Pero slow and controlled. Chest supported, core stable. Tapos slow and controlled. So yun guys, five shoulder exercises using only dumbbells, okay? So may mga na-skip out na ako na hindi ko na in-include. Pwede ka mag uh, rear delt row, pwede ka mag shrug kung gusto mo isama sa shoulders. And pwede ka rin mag wise for the rear delts, more rear delts, ganun. So just a few reminders before you hit or work out your shoulders, mag warm up kayo. Ako behind the scenes, di ko na pinakita, nagbabands ako. Just to loosen up my rotator cuffs. Tapos, I do the exercises with lighter weights. Guys, kailangan tandaan nyo na mag-warm up kayo. Painitin nyo muna. Parang langisan nyo muna yung muscles nyo bago nyo i-perform yung mga bibigat na exercises. Kasi ganun tayo may injure. Don't forget to stretch as well. Stretch your muscles. Stretch your delts. If hindi pa comfortable yung certain movements, practice nyo lang with lighter weight until you get better. Kailangan maging solid yung mind-muscle connection nyo bago yung bigatan, bago kayo mag-progress. So, with that being said, guys, kung gusto nyo ng dumbbells, link is in the description. Flexi-click dumbbells from Burt's Gym Essentials. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe, like the video, share the video, and see you guys in the next video.